Hi, this is Barry from aquabarrel.com. I want to show you how with just a couple of tools you're able to convert this 275 gallon tote into a solar powered pump monster. What a great product we have to show for you today. I'm going to show you again with just a couple of tools and a couple of very interesting products that we have on our website of how it is that you can convert this tub into a great unit. First part I'm going to show you in this video will be about two different kinds of filters that we offer. One, this type of filter, our leaf heater, you would actually mount directly on the wall and then perhaps utilize our downspout diverter if you're in a cold enough climate where you're worried about diverting the water towards or away from the time tank later. Actually as part of this installation I will show you this unit. This unit you can see here just barely mounts to the actual top of the tank and puts it in place. So this inline barrel topper downspout filter is one of my suggestions for installation with this 275 gallon tote to pre-filter on top of the barrel. This is also a good unit to use on those 55 gallon drums and other size units that we have available on our site. This is not just exclusively for this unit. And lastly, what everyone is always concerned about is mosquitoes. But I think you'll see quite clearly that this unit is fairly contained and very difficult for insects to get in and out of. But yet, again, if you're concerned, whether it's with this unit or with any of the other units, mosquito dunks are a great product to consider. And this is the location where a downspout filter, such as our leaf eater, should be located. And this is the offset downspout diverter by Aquabarrel. Flip the lever one way and the water heads down one side and then back to the other for the winter. And now we'll line things up so that we know where it is our overflow port is going to be installed. Quick circle around on the inside. Ah, and now we know where we're going to drill our hole at. Okay, now we're going to take a three and a half inch diameter hole saw. First we'll drill through the outer covering on this particular unit. Now we'll head right on through to the plastic, and now we've got our three and a half inch diameter hole. Now insert the overflow port. Now remove the cap off the caulk. Caulk around the outside of the overflow port, all the way around. And when we're finished, we'll just go ahead and give it a nice shove right up against the wall, so that, that way we know that our silicone is going to make a good seal. Oomph, there we go. Now notice the retaining ring off for the overflow port has a smooth side and a rough side. The rough side is what you want against the plastic wall. Now reach inside and screw the two units together. Now to install the 12 foot flex drain pipe. Now there's a wide mouth. Make sure that you slip it over the collar. Now, if you want to, you could put a couple of sheet metal screws in there to secure that in place. And now just bend down and continue to accordion all of that black plastic apart until you have it headed in the direction that you'd like it to go. Take a moment to attach the solar panel. This box contains the pump controller, the battery, and the pump itself. This hose is the inlet section and will bring water to the pump. And we'll take a moment to tidy this up just a little bit. Take the extra cord from the solar panel and a little zip tie here just to zip tie it in place. And take the lead wire, again just being neat about it, put it underneath of the hose and throw it over to the other side. One more hose to install on this side of the box. Put the up position of this particular wire from the solar panel, install it, and a couple of quick twists. And we're drilling three quarter inch hole. There's our three quarter inch hole. And let's go ahead and place all of our garden hose all the way down to the bottom of the tank, shove it all the way in there. And next we'll install the barrel topper. Notice the round bottom. We're going to drill a three and a half inch diameter hole. First we'll go ahead and identify where we're going to drill that hole. Make a mark. And move the box out of the way. 
once we've made our mark. Now we need to move a section of the pipe out of our way so that we can use the drill in a vertical position. Again, this is a three and a half inch diameter drill bit, same as what we did on the side. Go ahead and zip our hole down through the metal, down through the plastic. Now we're going to insert down into the hole, grab of our stays, the stays screw and down into the tank and into the side of the box to stabilize our downspout barrel topper filter. And lastly, we'll go ahead and reinstall that piece of downspout that was in our way. Now it's all lined up, one last screw. And here it is raining just as soon as we got completed with putting our unit together. Here's a 25 foot tape measure. So just give you an idea of how far we can shoot that water.